Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I will finally be getting a video on the channel for Johnny Booth. We've done some stuff on stream, a fantastic discography. I have very high expectations for Johnny Booth. I feel like uh, they are extremely underrated. So if you're watching this and you haven't gone through the discography, I highly urge you to do so, especially if you enjoy this. The song I'll be checking out today is called Collapse in the Key of Fireworks and like I said, I am stoked to check it out. New Johnny Booth. I will link all of the band's social media as well as the video I'll be using in the reaction portion of this video in the description. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Johnny Booth collapse in the key of fireworks. Let's discuss. With Johnny Booth, something that is always in the back of my mind, I guess, going into releases is the range. And I feel like this track, especially for a track that's just under three minutes to have as much as I feel like this does, it speaks volumes to their, not only like their ability to kind of like maximize that range but also to incorporate it into a song like this and just make it work it wasn't even like back and forth it just comes in super chaotic for like the first half of the song you have that break where it's it's you know i would call it very different it's the contrast for me at that point uh, the build-up kind of leading to where i felt that the song transitions uh, where it that first uh, after the break, that first drop there, that to me is probably my favorite part of the song after my first listen. I'm not sure if that will change or uh, how I'll, I'll feel, you know, after a, a bit of time. But for me, 
after so much chaos and build up in the beginning, it just felt very satisfying to get that like the slow groove. So it goes into like a, a new direction as well, not N E W N U is what I mean by that. You, you get the more in the second half is what I'm talking about here. I feel like if you just listen to the first half of the song, you definitely don't get the full uh, picture. But as you get that second half, the song really kind of like comes to full form, I guess, is, is what I mean. Uh, once you see all the cards that are going to be out, and then it kind of like, the way it closes out, all done within three minutes is, is really impressive to me. With Johnny Booth, I'm never sure going into it, will there be singing? Will the, there be no singing? There there have been tracks where I'm like, oh, I feel like we're And then it's just all the way through, kind of relentless. Uh, anyway, with this song being so short, I was kind of expecting it just to be like uh, kind of an ass beater all the way through. Wasn't really expecting it to take shape the way it did the second half of the song. Uh, so for me, that was a, a very welcome surprise, especially as I had mentioned what my favorite part of it was. Uh, but yeah, just the vocal performance from this band is something that's always stand out to me. Something I'm always curious to see with a new release, where will be like, you know, what part of the range we may go to, which parts I guess is a better way to say that, it's not usually more. Anyway, I, fe I feel like Johnny Booth is relatively under discussed for the material that, that they're putting out. I felt that way. I talked about it with Storyteller a little bit on a live stream last year. And I, I felt like if that track, rather than a cover, had something different at the end of it, it would be, uh, it would have made it into my, my EP list. But uh, it was just kind of like I needed more of the actual Johnny Booth material on that EP for it to contend with what else I had on my list, but it was still worth mentioning. I mentioned it a couple times as we close out the year. So I'm I'm very excited to see the album that this is coming off of. I don't know anything about any sort of release date or anything like that yet, but I will be keeping my eyes peeled for it. If anyone does know, uh, you know, if you're watching this maybe later than I posted it and it's been announced or anything, maybe I don't know yet. So just let me know. Uh, other than that, yeah, let me know in, your, in the comments what your favorite Johnny Booth song is. I guess I should have had a, an answer prepared for the question. It would be difficult for me to pick. I guess I'll pick before the album comes out and then I'll let you know then. But let me know in the comment what's yours is. You can find the video I used in the reaction portion of this, all the band's social media, promotional links in the description of this video. You can. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't mention anything I would have wanted different from it. I don't think anything for Johnny Booth. I, I'm not sure where this will fall rotation-wise. Um, I, I think the second half of the song really kind of, because the stuff that's more chaotic, it's similar to like uh, what I've mentioned about uh, Dillinger, Escape Plan, and, and some Every Time I Die, some of those types of bands that I never got as into as some other people uh, who I've talked to through the channel in whatever way, whether it be in the comments or on a live stream. Discord, Instagram, somewhere along the line. Uh, I think when it's straightforward all the way through, pretty chaotic, doesn't have what this song has that I felt like uh, was a good contrast for that. And you know, the slower grooves, some space in there. I, I'm not all drawn to that as much for my, you know, on repeat, constant rotation stuff. I feel like the stuff that I, I keep on repeat typically does have a noticeable amount of at least, I don't, I don't know how to word it properly because I don't want it to be like, I don't listen to anything that's like, because that's not true, but I'm, I'm talking if you like take an average from my, you know, the stuff that's been on the top of my on repeat playlist for like the last two years or something. It would mostly be stuff that does take the time to, in contrast to that, that chaos and whatever form it takes, stuff that has a lot of blast beats, um, stuff that the Callis, the, the Dallas, Ooh, it's hard for me to say that band name, even though I've seen them live. I've been running um, celebrity therapists into the ground, but for some reason, I'm sure that's the point of them naming their band that. Uh, but like with that band, the reason that the Callous Dow Boys work so well for me and I'm, I'm doing constant revisiting, well, not constant, but I feel like at least one week out of every month still, I'm going back to celebrity therapists, putting it on the playlist. Star Baby is such a neat track, especially after seeing them close their set with it. It's just stuck with me, but they have a ton of chaotic, wacky, off-the-wall, fast stuff, but they, they have a lot of moments that contrast that perfectly by 
whether it be a total shift into something that sounds like a different genre or just the, you know, something that's low and slow, whatever the case may be, that's really important for uh, the stuff that seems to make it to my, my revisiting. It has to be uh, above and beyond. Like, I feel like it needs to work harder to go on repeat if it doesn't, if that makes sense. I guess that would be the best way not to keep talking in circles about this. But yeah, you get what I mean. I do think that this will go on the playlist for me. I'll be curious to see where on the playlist, how often I'm revisiting it, and if it sticks with me. I felt like with Storyteller, that was a track I was stoked on when I listened to it for the first time, listened through the rest of the EP and stuff, and then I didn't really do a bunch of revisiting after that, and I'm not sure if it's because last year was so busy or what, but I don't feel like that spoke to the quality of the music, more so just uh, the overwhelmed... I've been talking for like twice as long as this song is. I'm gonna stop. Those are my thoughts after first listen. I will cover the album when it drops on the channel, so I will have more thoughts on Johnny Booth and, and that sort of thing. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I will link the video that I used in the reaction portion of this, all the band's social media, as I already mentioned, in the description. My link tree will be there, which will have the Patreon. I'm working on a lot of different content for that. We're doing monthly live streams. I'm making and maintaining playlists for tier three, that sort of stuff. You can check out what I offer in the link tree. Also, the invite for the Discord server will be there. The Discord server is where the community is based for my YouTube channel. We've got a lot of really wonderful music lovers in there just talking about both music related stuff and stuff unrelated to music as well. So if you're interested in coming to join, check out what the community is all about. That will be there as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs>